Welcome to episode 4, so today we're going to be creating a basic HUD uh, that will show the player's health. So first go to the sandbox directory and then we're going to go into our game mode. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to create a few files uh, for the, the actual UI as well as ever going to edit some of the other files. So we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it UI. This is where we're going to put all our UI related files such as uh, the actual like C sharp class files and then the uh, style sheets. So let's create a C sharp file for uh, our actual HUD. So we're going to do, we're going to call that myhud.cs and then we're going to create a C sharp file for uh, the, act, the panel uh, for the health and we're going to call that vitals. So this is where we'll just this will be like a separate panel that we add on to the the main hood panel, and that's where we'll put all the health and stuff. And then we're going to create last the last file, uh, which is a style sheet, uh, which is for this panel here. Okay, so what we need to do next is we need to go into sandbox and we need to open up the file. Or open up the project. So let's close these. So first we want to open a game and let, let's open my hood first actually. So what we're going to want to put in here is we're going to want to actually just create a basic class that we can add panels onto. So let's first uh, import sandbox and sandbox.ui. There we go. And then we want to create a public partial class called my hood and this is going to be uh, based off hood entity root oh, root so I need to put the type okay so what we're doing here is we're creating a part of creating a class called my hood uh, this will be the actual hood that we uh, create on like in the game.cs we'll create it in here and then I'll basically create it on the client screen and uh, it, we're putting it up, we're like attaching it onto the root panel because uh, that's where the hood needs to be displayed. So let's create a constructor for my hood. Uh, and then we want to make sure we're going we're gonna to create it on the server just because we can and it makes it a bit more simpler. So we don't want it doing anything if it's not the, if it's not the client. So we do it if not client then return. Basically, if it isn't the client, then it just won't run in any of this code. And what we want to do is want to do root panel dot add child vitals. So that vitals is that panel that we're going to create. So let's let's quickly go do that now. We'll just create a basic, but we won't actually fully create it yet because we don't need it yet. So we can import. We can just copy and paste most of this. Just copy that. Put it there. We're also going to need ui.construct for the labels. Uh, so let's call it, so we're going to call it vitals. And it's going to be, uh, pa it's going to be a panel. Okay, so public, so the constructor. What we want to do is here we, we can, we could just leave that empty for a second. And what we could do is can now move over to the game.cs and we can actually create the hood. So in here we've got my game. Uh, so we're going to create a variable for the the hood entity. So if we create it there, so that's the variable name and that's the uh, class. And then we want to make sure that it's being created. We do my hood equals new my hood. So when the game is created, then we're going to set the my hood variable to a new uh, hood. Uh, the reason we were making it as a variable rather than just doing my new my hood is because we want it to be refresh when uh, hot when it hot loads, basically when files are saved. So to do that, we need to create a new uh, method called uh, it's going to be a void, and then we'll just call it like hot load update. And that is, this is where we'll, we will recreate, the, we'll delete this old hood and then we will recreate it uh, whenever the client, whenever it's hot loads, so whenever a file is changed. So let's say we saved the UI file, 
then it will recreate the HUD so it updates in game. So what we want to do here is we're going to do if not is client uh, return. So if it's not so if it's not the client, then it will just not run anything in here. And we also want to check if my HUD equals null. So basically, it won't run any of this code so that if the HUD isn't created because you can't delete it if it's not created yet. So do dot delete. Actually, we can get rid of that. Uh, we could just put uh, a question mark there. What this would do is it will just won't run the method if uh, my HUD is null. So we'll do equals new my HUD. Okay, so uh, when it when when the game hot loads, it will uh, create will delete the old HUD, then it'll make the new HUD. Okay, so that should save it. Uh, if we go in game, we won't actually be able to tell if anything's happening. Unless we did some logs in this file, we can actually do that if we want. But let's, we may as well just set up a basic uh, panel that we can see. So let's do style sheet dot load. And this is going to be slash UI slash vital oh, vitals dot scss. So what we're doing here is we're loading the vital style sheet that we created here. So this is where we put all the the details about how it should be styled and how it should be positioned. So we could just we could just leave it like that to be honest, and we can just add some basic stuff. So what we're going to put is we are going to put uh, we can let's actually just create a basic uh, class called health back, and we'll uh, put it as like width fifty. Uh, 200 pixels. I'll put the height as that as well. And then we can just set the background color to red. And then we should be able to see that in game if we go here and we do. Uh, what is it? We're gonna do add dot panel. And then the name of the style class. So what we're doing here is creating a new panel on top of the vitals panel. Uh, with the style class of health back. If you don't know some s basic CSS, I'd recommend learning a bit of that. Because you can find tons of stuff for it. So this should all work. So if we go in game, go local, my game mode, and we'll just create a quick game. And then we should see our hood. Okay, right, so in the top left, we see we have a big ass red square. So that means that our hood has properly been created so we could change this black background background color we could change it to blue could change it to whatever we want pink this uh style sheets will upload straight away well they don't they will they'll update straight away they don't really need to be compiled proper well, it doesn't need to compile all the cs it just compiles the style sheets uh whereas if we change something here such as removing this this would take a bit it would, you see it would say compiled now now the thing's been now the actual Panel's been removed. Right, so I've added that back. Right, so now that all the boring stuff is out of the way, we can start adding functionality to the panel as well as styling it. So in here, we can we're going to create two variables. We're going to call one uh, health, and it's going to be a label. And then we're going to make another one called health bar, and that's just going to be a panel. So a health label will be what we want to update. And a health bar is uh, just the bar, as in like the percent of health. So what we're going to do is here we have the health back. So we're going to add stuff to that. So we need to define it as a variable rather than just adding it. So we'll do panel health back equals add dot panel health back. So now we can use, but now we can add stuff to this uh, health bank panel. So we're going to do panel uh, health bar back equals health back dot add dot panel. If we can do that correctly, and then we're gonna give it a class called health bar back. Okay, right. So we've got health bar back panel, which we can now add the health bar uh, panel with the variable we uh, created up there. So that will be uh, we could just copy this, but instead of health back, we're gonna add it to the health bar back, and uh, this will be called health bar. That will be the style class, and finally. The health variable will be equal to uh, health back dot add dot label instead, 
and then the first argument is as you can see here it's the text so we'll just put that as zero because that'll be the default and then uh, we'll call the the style class will be health text so as you can see here the class name is the second argument all right so i've added all that so what we can do now is we can actually start styling that a little bit if we go in game it'll just uh you'll see the little zero at the top you won't really see anything else so let's start by just styling it so what we're going to want to do here is we can just delete all this for the health back we could do position uh position absolute so that means that it just won't care about what uh, anything else nothing else will affect it so we'll do left 50 pixels this is going to move the panel uh, 50 pixels from the left of the screen we'll do bottom 50 pixels so that will move it from 50 pixels from the bottom uh, we're going to do padding 5 pixels that will add a padding of 5 pixels around all the elements and then let me just copy a color so I'm going to do background color and then we're going to just use this color that I have got on my other monitor Right, uh, let's add a box shadow as well. Fancy up. Right, there we go. So now if we save that, you see in the bottom left we have a little panel, but obviously it doesn't have a width for height set. It's just using the children to set its height. So you can see it's kind of like got a little border, a five pixel border around the zero, rather than being all around it. So to make it a bit neater, uh, we can do the health bar back. So this will kind of make it be its full length because we'll set the width of this uh, this class here so that will set the width of the parent so we'll just put the width as 250 pixels and then the background color as the, what I have here there we go so now we'll see it's starting to take shape we've got a little health bar uh, and what we want to do next is we want to add a color for the health bar uh, but that's not going to be the full yeah that, that's not going to have its width set because we'll set that in code we could just test it so I've got another color for this I've got all the colors all right okay so now we won't see anything in the game but if we set the width to let's say 50% so that would be 50% of the panel of the parent you see that it is 50% of the main panel so finally what we want to add is some health text so remember that remember that class we defined we called it health text so we're going to just add a bit of margin between the text and the actual bar we'll put that as 10 pixels we'll add a, add a margin right so there's a bit more spacing of five pixels uh, then we'll just add some other stuff which is for actual styling so this is all like the main position stuff i normally put that at the top and then we just have styling stuff so this doesn't really matter this just makes it look nice so we got a color for it for the actual text we got a shadow and then we got the font weight so if we do that now we have some nice little text we have a zero but obviously we want it to actually update to the player's health so we're going to go back into the c sharp file and the reason we made these as variables is because then we can update them so to do that what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new uh well not a new method we're going to override one of the base methods for a panel public for override void tick if you just press enter there it will auto fill it all out for you so then we just want to press uh, enter we can actually put stuff there and what we want to do is we want to grab the player entity so we can get the health of it so we want to do var player equals local dot pawn uh, this will grab the the client's uh, player entity and then we can do if uh, player equals null uh, return we should actually put that up there so it won't run any of the code below if we if the player is found to be null so let's first update the text by doing health.text so health is the label that we created then just change the actual text that's in it we could just do health.text so we just set it to whatever string we want so we're going to use the dollar sign which is we're basically creating like a formatted string and then we're going to put uh, uh, this inside, which means that we're putting uh, some a variable in it or some code. We do player dot health, so the player entity, the health, and then we want to seal it to an int because uh, player dot health is actually a float. If we hover over it, it will tell us. So the health is now set to 
the health text will now be set to the player's health. So if you save that, you'll see in the bottom left, it now says that our health is 100. Uh, we can actually test this later. Uh, we'll try setting the player's health in the player code. So finally we want to set the width of the health bar, so do health.style uh, dot width and then we'll set it to a percent. So uh, width it takes a, a class called a well a type called a length. So we do length and then we want to do a percent, so we do dot percent. As you can see do length dot pixels, so we could set it to like fifty pixels. We want percent, so this takes a float, so if we put fifty F, uh, then that would do fifty percent, but we want to do the player dot health. Uh, seeing as the max health is a hundred, we don't need to divide it by anything because it will just be uh, something out of a hundred anyway. So it'll already be in the format we want. Uh, this won't update uh, straight. Uh, this actually won't update because we need to uh, tell the style that it wants to update. Otherwise, the style will be trying to update every uh, tick, or whatever. So we want to tell it that in this specific uh, tick, we want it to update. So we do style health bar dot style dot dirt to basically telling it be prepared for a change to be made. So now if we save that, you'll see that it's uh, full. Our health is full. So that's basically most of the styling done. You could play around with this. We could change like the background color of the health bar to blue instead. You see that it's now blue. You can just mess around with all this. You can mess around with the CSS. You know, like look it up. See what kind of stuff you can change. So let's try actually testing if the health works. Obviously we don't really have a way to damage ourselves yet. So what we could do is we could go into the player.cs and in here in the respawn bit we can set health equal to let's say 50. Uh, let's restart the game. So if we click leave game and then we can just quick click quick play there. That'll load back up the game mode. So as you can see, uh, I think that's a bug, but as you can see, uh, our health is now 50 instead of 100. And we could just delete that now. So clearly it is working. So let's start it back up and then we can have a few more things to look at. So we've created a basic health bar uh, with actual functionality. Uh, we don't really have, there's not really a solid way to actually deal damage, so you can't really test it that much other than just changing the health of your code. So anyway, that's basic. That's the basics of setting up a HUD. You can add more labels. Uh, you can just mess around the CSS. I really recommend looking at some web stuff and just learning a basic CSS because it will help a lot rather than trying to learn it alongside uh, learning how sandbox coding works. Anyway. So in the next episode, I'm not sure what we'll do, but we'll do something. Uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.